Hi, this is Laurie Lawrence. Welcome to Worldwide Swim School. I'm going to walk you through the Swim School Hub where all of your staff training will happen. Once you've registered, your Swim School logo will appear here. Each of your swim teachers will be sent a link to this page along with their specific login details for a customised training experience. First, we will go through the interface that your staff will use to access all of their training. This is the main dashboard of the Swim School Hub. The first section you will come across is the to-do list. Here, your staff will find all modules, resources and forms that you have assigned to them. Or, if you have given them access to self-paced learning, they can assign to themselves. As you can see, there is a due date for anything assigned, as well as the status of where they are up to. To open any assigned tasks, all they have to do is click Open, and it will take them to the start of the task, or wherever they last left off. The next section is the Completed tab. This will include anything that the teacher has already completed. This allows them to go back and refresh themselves on any modules or resources they've already gone through. Not only does it show teachers what training they've completed, but it shows them when it was completed and when they need to renew their training. All certificates they've received in the Swim School Hub can also be assessed through this. Any forms that you need your teachers to fill out can be assessed through the Forms tab. As a manager, you can see who has submitted their forms as well as create new forms from scratch. Finally, the library. The library is broken down into categories that contain relevant content. For example, if we go into the infants category, you can see that there are 62 relevant items. You, as the administrator, will have the control over which content is assigned to which teachers. Any items assigned to them will show up in their to-do list tab. Keep in mind that each of these categories will only be accessible to your teachers once you have assigned them. You and your staff can access your own profiles by hovering over your profile photo and selecting My Profile. Here, your staff will be able to assess notifications alerting them of their assigned modules or resources. All of their certifications will also be accessible on their profile page. If they want to update their details, they can simply hit the Edit button on the right hand side. Now we will move into the administrator interface which you will be using to assign modules, assess reporting and keep track of your staff training. All navigation in this interface happens through the tabs on the left hand side. In the users tab you will find a list of all your SWIM teachers. Here, you can edit their details, add them to training groups, add them to training modules, add competencies, as well as look at an overview of their profile. In here, you can see the groups they're assigned to and easily remove them from groups as well. To add them back to the group, you can click on Actions on the top right hand. Select Add to Groups and then select which group you'd like to add them to. In the Groups tab you will see all of the various groups that your teachers may be assigned to. Here you can see who is part of which groups and you can add staff to those groups. Next is the Administrators tab where you can add more administrators to help manage your staff. You can determine how much access each administrator has, 
whether you give them access to all of your teachers or a specific group of teachers, that is up to you. The Administrators tab also gives you access to reporting. Here, you can decide what reports you'd like to get, when you'd like to receive them, and how often you'd like that report. In the Modules tab, you will have access to all 46 training modules. This is where you can assign modules to individual users or to specific groups. This could be small groups of staff or your entire staff. You simply select which group you'd like the module assigned to. Select the completion date and then hit Save. All members of that group will then be notified by email that they have been assigned a new module. Similarly, in the Resources tab, you will have access to all 149 resources. Before assigning them, you can view the resource by clicking View. This way, you can have a look through it to ensure you allocate it to the relevant teachers. In the Competencies tab, you can view the various training competencies, certificates and Australian training licences. To assign them to your staff members, it's the same as the Modules and Resources tab. Again, these can be assigned to individuals or to groups. Once they are assigned and have uploaded all relevant documents, the system will automatically follow them up to make sure that they have completed each compliance. The system will remind them when they are coming close to the time of renewal. Let's now go down to reporting. You can get reports on users, groups, modules and courses. There's also a custom report builder. This allows you to customise reports based on users, groups, modules, courses and competencies. There are also filters you can choose from, such as who has completed the competencies, who is coming close to renewal and so forth. Once you generate the report, you will have a list of users who fall under that report. From there, you can either download the report or email the report to the relevant users. Thanks for taking the time to watch this demo of the Swim School Hub. As you can see, it's user friendly and will develop highly qualified training to your staff. But more importantly, you can keep track of it.